I'm back and I'm making a Maple Story video in 2023. I never thought I'd be doing this again, but here I am playing a game that was made so many years ago and still having fun on it. And what better way to start than making a video on my favorite class, like what I used to do, except for I'm not going to be an idiot this time and I am going to make sure that I state what I need to and kind of keep it as simple as I can. So let's just get straight into it and why I want to talk about my favorite class in the game who I think is the easiest character to play in the game, which is Mikhail. The Light of Night himself, the protector of the Empress, and I just, he's an incredibly easy character to play guys. If you are new to the game and want to make a character that you can take bossing solo or in parties and you're just worried about constantly dying or where you're going to mess up a mechanic, then Mikhail is the way to go. This guy allows you to skip almost every mechanic that exists in this game when bossing and endgame stuff that is kind of insane. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves, let's start from the very beginning, right when you make your character. Once you get through the beginning cutscene and get out into Maple World, how is he going to perform? Well, he's going to perform pretty damn well throughout your entire Maple journey. At first job, you start with one of the strongest abilities in the game, which is Royal Guard, and the only reason that I consider it one of the strongest is because of everything that it does. It does a great amount of damage, especially once your fourth job. Whenever you consistently use it within 20 seconds, it will stack up to five times at max level, and it will just allow you to pretty much full map clear on many areas. Now, of course, when I say full map clear, obviously it's not the entire map, it's usually just your screen, and this ability typically will clear what's on your screen except for maybe on the very outskirts or the corners but it is still incredibly strong and then after you use this you will be invincible for four seconds and the cooldown on this ability is six which of course what that means is that every six seconds you're going to be invincible for four seconds which means that if you're maximizing properly you are only vulnerable in boss fights for two seconds at a time and remember this is an ability you get at first job and it only gets stronger as you level, i.e. the damage increases and the range gets bigger on. At third job is when you can actually upgrade it again to allow you to stack it up to five times, which is when it becomes that full map attack. It's just, it's really easy to get there. On top of that, you also get a main attack that blinds your enemies and also decreases their accuracy by 30% which is really strong because it just means you're going to be taking a lot less damage because you won't be hit as much. Along with your insane clearing with your Royal Guard whenever you actually have it maxed out, you also have access to Install Shield, which you get at fourth job. Now, Install Shield is a summon just like the Urda Shower that allows you to place a little shield in the air that will deal damage periodically to enemies around it, which means that if you're training on a map that has some higher areas that are pretty slow for you to get to, then you can just throw this up there, throw Urda to shower up there and they will take care of those platforms for you which just leads to really good amounts of xp gain so Mikhail is not going to be struggling while he's grinding and if you think hey this guy sounds pretty strong don't forget that he also has a lot of abilities that heavily help your teammates you have encourage which increases attack power by 30 you have many different passives that just increase your final damage your critical rate your strength of course everything gets buffed by just existing as this class and it's really nice and then when you hit fifth job you get one of the strongest burst attacks in the game which does like 2,095% damage and if you watch on screen here you can watch me just burst half of Helix's health with one attack. So all in all, if you enjoy playing Warriors and are new to Maple Story, or you're trying to get into bossing but want to play it really safe and are worried about performing poorly, then Mahil is the perfect option for you, except for if you are in one specific category which is that you have bad internet. Because Mahil does not do well if your ping is not good, so essentially if you live in Europe but you're playing on GMS or if you live in pretty much any other country that's not America and have trouble connecting to the GMS servers, then you are going to have trouble constantly hitting your Royal Guard. This isn't just because your ping is bad, this is also because there are some issues with certain bosses, and I, I say issues but they're not really issues, they're programmed this way, such as with Damien. Whenever he does his dash attack in his first phase, if you use your royal guard immediately as he goes through, you will not guard it. You have to wait an entire like second after he attacks to actually have the effect be blocked because that is when the attack happens. So you pair that with having some bad internet, it can heavily throw off your actual royal guards and this is one of the reasons Mahil wasn't really liked for a long time and sometimes still isn't 
is because not everyone can properly play him because of internet and ping issues. But if you are able to connect to the internet just fine, you have good speeds, or as long as you have decent ping, or I would really just say good ping in general, like even decent can cause issues, then Mahil is going to be one of the easiest classes to play because all you have to do is run into an attack and just hit control even early or late sometimes, and it'll be blocked and you'll be invincible, and you'll also do a good burst of damage. Another thing to note is that whenever it does start getting into some of the endgame bosses, Mihil can struggle a little bit, but as long as you're playing properly, even if you're going to be like taking a bit longer to solo a boss, it doesn't matter when it comes to the fact that you can play so lazily and still do it. Some characters are glass cannons in the sense that they do insane amounts of damage, can burst down a boss immediately, such as a Night Lord. But if you don't get that burst off right, or if you don't get your enemy down in time, they are going to kill you very quickly, or, and you're just going to have to spend a bit waiting for your burst to come back online. Mihil doesn't really suffer from that, because even while waiting for your burst, it is super easy to dodge and block every attack that it doesn't really matter how long it takes for you to go through a boss. This means that you can actually go through a lot of the earlier Chaos bosses, such as Chaos Root Abyss, a lot earlier than some other classes just because you have insane survivability. Now of course, an obvious exception to this early bossing fight might be something like Chaos Pierre, where you need to be able to bind and burst him, so unless you actually have the damage to burst around one fourth of his HP, or one third really is where you should probably be aiming for, then I would not recommend doing him early but you can easily do Chaos Queen and Chaos Von Bond. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just talking about my favorite class because I think it's a very simple character to play, and right now Maple Story is going through a lot of big updates, like right now is Ignition, which means that if you do play now, you'll actually get two levels every level that you get, which means three levels every time you level, up until level 250, which is really nice if you're new to the game trying to get to some of that endgame stuff or have a bossing mule you want to make. And then we have Savior coming up, which obviously for GMS it's going to take a bit, but KMS just got it, the new character looks great, and with that event they are, there is supposed to be another hyper burning event, which means again, you'll be able to get to level 250 just like that. So yeah, that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, then hit that like button and sub my channel, it's greatly appreciated. I, I am going to be doing more content like this, but I'm also going to be doing more content on pretty much just whatever I want. It's just that I've been playing this game a lot recently and don't want it to go to waste. So here I am making a video on my current main and favorite character in the game and is one of the easiest characters to play that I recommend to any newcomers. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.